Yes, we are live from Aramoko Ekiti from the bank where they had arm robber attack yesterday. Yeah. Yes, I am. I think you have your. This is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we have the camera it's in place. Yes, sir. Eh? You last with them. Look, sir. Ah. My brother. Yes. You understand me? Yes. You last with them. Look, sir. They just made me the way to we see there the premises of the bank where they attacked yesterday for Aramo for Yikiti. Now the bank entrance with this where them blow with explosive material during the robbery yesterday you can see now the entrance with this the security door was blown away two people were reportedly killed here yesterday including a policeman who is manning security in this bank Sorry, sir. Journalists, my colleagues are already there. Sorry, sir. Journalists, my colleagues are already inside. How you can do what you can do, and uh, you know, for me, by the time the police report, you will need it, you will get it immediately. So, just get in touch with uh, your head office or your area office so that you can start your operation as soon as possible. Then you continue with the, the security. Yeah, yeah man, yeah. uh -huh. So, as soon as they finish, yes, sir. So the security again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Maybe there is no problem with talking. I called yesterday. That time, that was the need of operation. You know, I put it up to you. I sent a text after. Thank you very much. He requested that. No problem. No problem. No problem. Just apply. Whatever you want the police to do, just apply so that I can get them. Sorry. We sit there for a do a kit for Aramoko Ikiti. 
Well, I'm Robert. I start a new generation bank yesterday with them thief money and killed two people, including one policeman. Okay. Now, person will go follow us talk now. Now, the Deputy State Commissioner of Police, CP, today, Mobayo. He's going. Are we good to go? She is ready. Uh, Alright, sir. Uh, you are here this afternoon to uh, for on spot assessment of what happened yesterday. What have you seen so far? Yes, thank you very much. When the it was yesterday evening around five thirty, I was called that there was rob I mean, a robbery going on in this bank. So I quickly got in touch with. Uh, my officers on the ground and the one with me in the aggregate to come down here. Then the nearby DPOs, I asked them to be on red alert and block the roof. The operation, they divided themselves into groups, those, those uh, robbers. Simultaneously, they were attacking uh, the divisional headquarters and here. Before they entered the divisional headquarters, right from the main road, they started throwing in dynamite. That one caught my people unaware. So the few of my men that were armed, the station guard, they uh, tried their, their best by repelling them. So that was why they couldn't, because their intention was to even burn down the station and uh, cut away some arms from the armory. But we, we have our own system that we use. So they thought if they break into our armory, they will have access to our arms, but they were disappointed. By the time they got there, they couldn't get any of our arms because we knew what we were doing. And that one, I don't want to make it public now. That was why they couldn't get any arms from the station. So as soon as for this place, what happened here was because of the assistance from members of the public and the response, the assistant uh, response from the police, they couldn't wait much time here because they were scared. They were able to blow the main gate and uh, they entered there. They, could, they, could, they couldn't uh, break the boat. So immediately they just rushed out and uh, they fled. All right, all right sir. Uh, as you are here this afternoon, you must have been informed of what really transpired. How many persons can you confirm to us that actually died in the incident? Yes, thank you. Presently, so far, I can confirm to you two people died. Unfortunately, one of my officers and inspector was had just closed from the nearby microfinance bank and he was going home so he passed in front of this bank and the armed robbers immediately deserted him they gunned him down because of the fear that maybe he was coming to attack them the second person i was told was traveling from kaduna